Most of us have probably been bitten by a bee or a wasp at some point or another. They hurt and they can hurt a lot, but for most of these things, you can just take care of at home. This is a simulated bee sting. What you're noticing here is some swelling and redness. That swelling and redness is just a reaction to the sting and a little bit of venom that goes in the body at this point. As long as you're not having an allergic reaction to it, it's fine to take care of at home. In the middle, you'll see a little black area there. That's the stinger. One important part here is you want to get that stinger out as soon as you can. So how do you do that? Easiest thing, I think, is just to simply use tweezers. You just go with the tweezers, grab the little black area, and pull the tweezer out. So now we're going to see what it looks like when a bee sting gets so bad that you need to go to the emergency room. Even if the bee bites you in any other part of the body, if the swelling starts to this area of the face, you want to be concerned because it can easily get to the throat and cut off your breathing, which of course is life-threatening. You want to go ahead and get to the emergency room as soon as you can. If you have an EpiPen, use that before you get there. If you start noticing any problems, call 911 to make sure this bee sting was truly just an annoyance and not something that's going to be life-threatening. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.